I come to those of you today with this vision of hope. I want to just give thanks to our God who is in heaven. As we look at these people, these men and this woman, and there are so many, many more in this world that if telling lies was a thing that would cause us to be in prison, these people will be on one of the most wanted criminal lists ever in our world. But one day, they and we, we all have a time appointed, a judgment to stand before God for the lies that we tell. Matthew 12 and 36, Jesus said, For I say unto you, that every idle word that a man speak, he will give an account thereof in the day of judgment. For by your words, you shall be justified. And by your words, you shall be condemned. I want to thank my brother Kevin Buckner for sharing Michael Jones' photo image because it is something that the world need to know. We must know the truth when it comes to hearing God's word. Men such as this, Sometimes you think about the devil. You began to ask the question, what is he and who is he? The devil is not that one as we was told as children with the pitchfork and the forky tail and that he's red in color and all of this. But the devil, he has an evil influence. He gets within the mind of people. He is a liar. He abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When you read John chapter 8 and verses 44 on down, when he speak a lie, he speak of himself, for he is the father of lies. His children are just like him. They stand, they wait to deceive. And that's what these men are doing. That's what the women are doing. Revelations 12 and 10, John said, then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. Satan has been cast down here upon this earth to deceive us. He's in the lives of others. He worked through men and women all over this world. These so-called preachers are prosperity. These so-called leaders these people that teach us and try to convince us that wealth and prosperity is salvation. You read Luke chapter 12 and the verses 15. Jesus said, life does not consist in the abundance of which a man have. All of these things that people desire to have, these things will only lead us into our struggles of life. It will lead us into problem with God, even at the day of judgment. You read 1 Timothy 6 and 9. These who desire to be rich, they fall into great temptations and many of them, and they make themselves to become shipwrecked. They are the kind that are of the devil. If any man want to use these references as far as being senseless in their desires, these things can separate us from God, wealth, and prosperity. All of these things, the prosperities of life, Matthew 6 and 33, the Lord said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. Some, many are out just for gain. They're out for wealth. They're out for prosperity. They like the thoughts of these people that wait and deceive. If you're not a Christian, you need to be. You say, what must I do to be saved? You must hear the gospel of God, Romans 10, 17. You must believe his word, Hebrews 11 and 6. You must repent of your sin, Luke 13, 3 and 5. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is God's son, Matthew 10, 31 and 32. You must be baptized in water to have your sins washed away, Acts 2, 38, Mark 16, 15, 16, John 19, 34, and the blood of Jesus Christ, it will cleanse us from all of our sins. It washes away our sins. You must continue to be faithful unto death. John 8, 31, 32. Revelations 2 and 10. 
We say to those of you that taken the time out to listen, share this message with a friend. Visit the church of Christ that is nearest you. And when you get there, for God's sake, please ask questions. God bless you and God keep us all together in his love. In Jesus name we pray. We ask it all. Amen. God bless you tonight.